Hello, I'm Ezra. I'm Isaac. And firstly, I want to tell you some exciting news because my song Pleaser is finally out now on all platforms, so you should go stream it. Yes, you should. So today's video is a Q&A and I asked you questions on Instagram about any questions that you have about top surgery. So Isaac is going to ask me those questions today. Yes, I am. <laughs> How long did it take? It took four hours, but for me, it felt like I blinked and then I woke up and I had no boobs anymore. For me, it was four hours <laughs> when I was waiting for him, <laughs> but it was only like, I'd say it was only about three hours that you were actually in the hospital, in the surgery for. Yeah. And then maybe about half an hour of you waking up from the anesthesia. And, and then you being wheeled. wheeled. I just yeah. woke up and I was being wheeled and I felt a little bit sick. <laughs> and then it went away and then I ate ice cream, which I was absolutely so happy about. And I need to know where Miles Berry gets his ice cream from. I might email him. <laughs> Do you have drains? No, I didn't have drains. Um, I was kind of worried about getting drains because when I saw Noah Finch talking about it like years ago, when he was talking about having drains, he said that it hurt to get them taken out and I didn't want to have any more pain. Uh, but luckily, I didn't have them. Apparently, I was very close to having them, but I didn't, luckily. Yes. It depends on, like, the size of your chest before and how the surgery goes and also how what, tech, what techniques the surgeon uses to um, actually do the surgery because every surgeon does it slightly differently. How long does the binder stay on? It stays on for six weeks. I think the most painful part of the recovery process isn't actually... There's a fly. Oh, that would hurt my arm to do that. Oh, anyway, the most painful part of the surgery isn't actually the chest stuff. Mainly, it's the fact that the binder digs in. Like, it's, it digs in here, but I've got my fluffy socks to be between it, so it doesn't dig in as much, because it's painful. <laughs> Someone says, how do you feel about it? I want to get top surgery so bad, but my mum says it's dangerous. First off, it's not dangerous unless you have health complications that would mean that it's dangerous. But it's no more dangerous than any other surgery that you're going to get. No. And far less dangerous than a lot of surgeries that you could need yeah. if you needed a surgery for a medical reason. Also, it doesn't actually hurt. Like, you don't feel like an immense pain when you wake up. I just woke up, felt very nauseous from the anaesthetic. And as soon as that was gone, I felt like my normal self, to be honest. The main thing is that I just feel a bit achy. It's just like a muscle ache. Muscle ache. It's like I've been to the gym and done like a bunch of exercise. Um, that's kind of how it feels. And I also know that I have to be careful. So I'm walking around like a bit hunched over and stuff because obviously I don't want to stretch my scars or anything. But it doesn't feel really, really painful. Um, I've actually been in worse pain when I've had like period cramps. Like that's genuinely worse than oh, yeah. the feeling I've felt from top surgery. So... It'll be okay. What type of top surgery did you get? I got double incision with lymph grafts. <laughs> Which is uh, also known as a double mastectomy. Yeah. Where did you get it done? I got it done at Cosmetic Surgery Partners by Miles Berry. I'm the Berry boy. Woohoo! In so, the London Wellback Hospital. Yes, the London Wellback Hospital. Was it expensive? Yes. Um, it cost me... £9,995. Very specific. I don't know where the other £5 that made it 10k didn't come from. Okay. Did you keep your nipples? Yes, I did. I was contemplating sw swapping them over because um, I thought, who else gets a chance to do that apart from people that are getting top surgery? But um, I didn't end up doing that because I genuinely forgot. Could your nips fall off? Yes. But they won't because I've done everything I can for that not to happen. Yes. You have to stop Tate if you consume nicotine you have to stop consuming it within six weeks before surgery um because it thins your blood vessels and that means that it will uh it, it can't yeah if, there, if there's less blood supply to your nipples to the actual skin grafts then um they basically the tissue just won't survive and won't reconnect to your skin and it will just fall off but that's not very likely um if you follow what your surgeon says no Four weeks after, you can't do it either. When did you start wanting top surgery? Ooh, ages ago. I wanted top surgery probably in like 
2021 was the first time that I properly voiced the fact that I want top surgery. But unfortunately, I had people in my life that weren't very supportive about this kind of stuff um, and didn't want me to. So I didn't have the right support to be able to go and do it. And the thing about top surgery is if you don't have the right people around you to be able to support you once you've had it, it's a bit tricky. So I put it off and then I was in a situation more currently where I was able to actually explore my choices and what I wanted to do with my body safely and had the right support around me. So I was able to do it this year. Do you have to wear the binder when you shower slash how does one not get it wet in the shower? So for the first week you have to wear the binder the entire time and you have like um, dressing underneath the binder. Um, so you can't shower without the binder on or anything like that. So I've been having these really shallow baths um, that go up to like, go up to like here. It requires um, someone else helping with the armpits and the back and like cleaning like this part of the binder, like under the binder with baby wipes. And then after the one week, you can then have showers without the binder on. Um, so long answer short, uh, you can't get the binder wet for the first six weeks. And then yeah. after that, you can take off the binder. What is your favourite kind of lemonade? I love strawberry lemonade. I don't like lemonade. I like Diet Coke, though. It's also not a surgery question. No, but maybe it is. Maybe it's a surgery craving. Oh! The cat. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing. Can you still hug people? Yes, but you kind of have to hug like this, don't you? Like that. You be very, very, very delicate. Very, very gently. Ooh. Also, you get these weird tingles in like where your scars are, like this at the moment here. Tingle Town, Tingle Village. Does it itch really bad? No. Actually, I thought that I was going to get a lot of itching with this because I have psoriasis like in the middle of my chest, which I was talking about earlier. And I was worried that surgery would provoke it so much that it would constantly be itching. But honestly, a lot of my chest feels quite numb. Um, I get random tingles where I like the nerves are obviously reconnecting, which is very good. Um, but it doesn't feel good, but it's a good thing it's happening. And, um, but I've had like a slight bit of tingling here, but like that's about it. Um, so luckily enough, no, it's not itchy, but my legs are itchy. My legs are so itchy. I think it's okay. I'll show you what sock things I'm wearing. So I've been wearing like these compression socks here and they just get, they just feel really itchy. I don't know if it's my leg hair that's like growing more leg hair or something. I don't know. It used to be way more itchy than it was before, but when I was first wearing them, I'm barely itchy, yes. But like the actual, this part, no, not itchy at all. And he has to wear the compression socks for two weeks. Two weeks. To stop uh, deep vein thrombosis in his legs. Which DVT. is just... David Tennant. <laughs> you don't want David Tennant? I do, I do want David Tennant. <laughs> Basically blood clots in his legs, that's what they could prevent. <laughs> Did you ever get doubts or cold feet? No. Not literally cold feet. <laughs> no, that's what the compression socks are for. <laughs> that's not what they're for. But they do keep your feet quite warm. They do keep them quite warm, that's what I mean. Mm. I feel very, very warm right now. My feet feel extremely warm, actually. Arguably, too warm. But no, he didn't, he didn't have any doubts before surgery. He was very confident with it. Yeah. And... I was just nervous about the anesthetic. That's literally yeah. the main thing. But you weren't even nervous about the actual surgery, just no. you were excited. Very, very excited. You were all smiling when you went in. Mm, yeah, I was just like walking down the corridor, very excited. As you've probably seen, if you've seen the vlog at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's your mobility like after surgery? So, to be honest, I've had Isaac making dinner for me and like meals for me and stuff. I can pick things up off the floor if I crouch down with my entire body. So I have to like crouch down with my entire body um and if i'm like lying in bed i have to sleep sat up uh with like pillows behind me and then like i have um a jelly cat behind my back and i like have to sleep like that um and then if i'm going to get up you have to get up without putting any pressure on your chest so you kind of like have to put the all of the tension in your stomach um so to answer your question mobility is like quite limited um but as long as you have people around you that can help you then that's fine. Um, but you shouldn't be like picking anything up or anything like that. Um, yeah. I can't like, one thing that I find really, really annoying is I can't like 
plug my phone in to charge it because charging ducts are always in like discreet tiny little areas that I just can't get to. Um, so I can't do any of that kind of stuff. So I can never charge my own phone. Today I was recording a TikTok and I dropped the, the, my phone behind my bed. I couldn't grab it, but luckily Isaac was here, so he was able to do it for me. But if yeah. I was here by myself, I wouldn't have been able to do that for until he got home, really. I don't yeah. be able to tell anyone about it either. So, mobility, tricky. And you can't carry bags. No. You're not allowed to carry any bags. You're not allowed to carry anything. Oh, today, this woman came up to me and she said to me, could you um, undo this bottle for me? I've never, ever been approached by someone ever thinking that I'm strong enough to open something when someone else isn't. So I was like, absolutely. I was so excited about it. And then you were like, you probably shouldn't do that. And then I did it anyway. And then I was like, oh, I just forgot. I had surgery. I should not be doing that. And she was like, oh, goodness, I'm sorry. Thank you anyway. And that was the encounter. <laughs> and I felt so strong. I opened a lemonade or whatever it was. <laughs> Last question. Okay. Um, what did you do to prepare for top surgery? Okay, so I got lots and lots of pillows and I made a bag full of my stuff the night before um, with all of my things in it that could help me. I told a lot of my friends um, that the ones that are like able to like help me, I told them that I'm gonna need them to like give me meals and things like that so I can rely on them. Um, do you think of anything else that I did? Uh, you got baby wipes so that you could clean yourself. Basically anything that you're gonna need around the house, you're not really gonna be able to go shopping. So especially if you don't have someone that can go out and do it for you. Um, so just stock up on anything that you need. Have food. Some people pre-make food if they don't have people who are able to make food for them. Um, making sure anything that you're going to need is not on a high shelf because you're not going to be able to reach to get them. No, I feel like a T-Rex. Yeah, you can, like can't dragons. really get anything that's not because he can't move his arms above shoulder height. Yeah. Um... Lots of pillows. You need to have lots of pillows in your bed so that you can sit in a half, sleep in a half sitting position. Makes it way more comfortable. Yes. Um, just making sure your house is just in an environment that feels good to recover in. So more you, comfy for you. Yeah, so that you have lots of space to just like relax. And also having things around you that you, you can um, enjoy after surgery because you're not going to be able to do much and you are going to be very bored. So just entertainment of some sort uh, in your house with you so that you can actually have something to do in the six weeks that you're not really going to be able to do anything. Absolutely. I hope you've enjoyed this Q&A and if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'm Ezra. And I'm Isaac. Ta -da. <laughs> Love you. Also go watch his top surgery vlog. Oh yes, please do. Um, I hope you really like it. It's a very honest kind of process of what it's like to get top surgery by Mosbury. So yeah, go watch it if you're interested, if your friend is getting it or your partner, sibling, um, or if you're getting it yourself and you want to see what it's like. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.